I have reviewed a number of Gigabyte notebooks this year, and when the brand reached out to me to tackle this AE7X1, I was a bit worried. Mainly because I honestly did not want to test out another Aero clone after reviewing three identical notebooks this year alone. Thankfully, the Gigabyte A7X1 is completely different, and if anything, the notebook is one of my favorites to come out of the company this year. It may be a bit bulkier than the rest, but the device packs some incredible power, and some of the best cooling I've seen in a Windows notebook. For starters, the Gigabyte A7X1 packs an NVIDIA RTX 37 GPU combined with an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX CPU. That alone makes it one of the best gaming notebooks on the market in terms of performance. The display is a 17.3 inch HD 144Hz panel, which is great for gaming. It also packs a great selection of ports. Again, this is not a slim or compact notebook, but the advantages you get from the larger size and cooling system makes the thickness well worth it. For the most part, the Gigabyte A7X1 is pretty basic when it comes to design. However, I do think that this overall visual aesthetic works for the notebook. The shell is entirely black and made of plastic. This helps keep it under 2.6 kgs. On the top, there's a Gigabyte logo that doesn't light up, but rather is printed into the outer shell. On the bottom of this device, I was extremely surprised to see that the notebook has a removable battery. I don't think I've reviewed a notebook with a battery that unclips in years. If anything, I thought this was a thing of the past. You can easily remove this 48.96 watts per hour battery with a simple unclip. The battery is also small and compact, making it easy to replace without any tools needed. The bottom of the device also shows off the massive fans inside the Gigabyte A7X1. The company calls this cooling system Wind Force. They are a lot bigger than most fans I've seen this year and they help keep things cool especially during intense gaming. It also helps that the vents underneath the device are quite spacious, making all hot air flow throughout the device better than ever. Inside the Gigabyte A7X1, you'll find an empty slot for the 2.5 inch storage device as well as an additional M.2 SSD slot. You can also remove the factory installed SSD if you want to upgrade that. You'll also need to replace the installed RAM if you want to upgrade that too. As for the ports, you'll be happy to know that Gigabyte has placed them perfectly around the device, even more so if you're right handed. This is thanks to the HDMI, LAN, USB-X and mini display ports at the back of the notebook. On the left there are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports and the DC port. On the right hand side there's the audio ports and the USB 2.0. In short, the right hand side packs all the ports you'll probably never use. A slower USB port and audio jacks. This means for gamers your right hand mouse area will be free of clutter such as charging cables or mouse wires. The keyboard on the Gigabyte A7X1 is a basic chiclet one. The white trimmings and black keys look great on the device. There is no per key RGB here, instead the entire keyboard uses one colour decided on by the built in app. The touchpad is also decent and the additional left and right click buttons make getting around while using it so much easier. Lastly, the display is good for what you pay for here. The Full HD panel packs a higher refresh rate of 144Hz but it is an RPS panel so expect poor viewing angles and low brightness. I measured a max brightness of 320 nits, so you're not going to get HDR here at all. In fact, the panel isn't even HDR certified. Gigabyte also has some great panels on certain creator notebooks, and this just isn't the best one around. This is a panel made for gaming and not so much photo editing and video stuff. It only has 90% sRGB coverage and 64% Adobe RGB. I ran a few tests on the Gigabyte A7X1 to test out its cooling, gaming, and productivity. Gaming especially performed extremely well, if anything the results were some of the best I've seen this year. I played some games on my 4K TV and most of them hit 50 FPS at 4K. Of course if you're playing on a 144Hz display you can get away with over 100 FPS across certain titles. Competitive games will max the display out too, here are some of the test results. This notebook can get pretty loud, but it isn't too bad. During heavy load, it maxed out at 62 decibels, and during normal use without gaming, it hit 35 decibels. At the most, the device hit 50 degrees Celsius around the keyboard during gaming, and internally, I read the max of 99 degrees Celsius during an hour of full gaming while playing Far Cry 6. Even at that heat, the system never throttled the CPU at all. The base clock remained at 3.5GHz when maxed out. 
it just goes to show how well the wind force cooling system was working here. The speakers on the Gigabyte A7X1 are also pretty good. They can reach a max of 85 decibels and manage to send off decent sound at the same time. Of course, while gaming you'll have to combat the fans, so you might want to use a set of headphones here for sure. Last but not least, we have the battery. While I love the idea that it is removable, it also has some downsides to it. Firstly, it takes longer to charge than built-in batteries and doesn't last that long either. You'll get away with a max of 4 hours here with the brightness on 40%. With max brightness and average non-gaming use, it will last just under an hour and a half. Definitely not ideal for the on-the-go type. It also charges using the DC power adapter, so you'll have to take that with you wherever you go. The Gigabyte A7X1 is a great gaming notebook. While the battery isn't the best, the performance you get from this device is top tier. The cooling system is one of the best I've seen this year, and the upgradable slots make this a long-term investment. It is fast, snappy, and overall great for gaming. But that's going to be all our thoughts on the Gigabyte A7X1. Is this a notebook you'd pick up? Let us know down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, farewell.